Hi everybody, um, welcome to my first pre-recorded video. I have not done this before, but I was very kindly loaned um, a little mic that I'm trialing to see if it'll allow me to uh, move my head away from the camera and you guys still be able to hear me because I know it doesn't always work so well when I'm outside in the garden. So hopefully it goes well. Um, and I'm going to kill two birds at one stone. I'm going to show you a little bit ahead of tomorrow's live. So tomorrow's live, I'm going to uh, show you how to plant propagated um, shrub cuttings. But today I thought it'd be a good chance to try my mic and show you where on the plant you actually cut. Because if you look this up online or have a book or whatever, it'll talk about softwood and hardwood cuttings. And I don't know, I think the, the wording can all be a bit confusing and that um, maybe if I showed you, it might make it a bit more obvious. So the plant I'm going to show this on or the shrub is a hydrangea or I some people call them hydrangea. I think that's probably the better way, but anyway, I call them hydrangea. Um, and there are these, there's, here's one here. Um, that will be eventually a riot of pink flowers, but um, at the minute they're still coming out. There hasn't been the right heat and, and uh, sunshine for it yet this year, but they're coming, it's, it's gonna be fine. And here is my other big one as well. So these are very big, probably a bit too big. Um, I wasn't always the diligent gardener I am now. Uh, so uh, I let them go a bit mad. And they're hard shrubbed kind of uh, cut back because if you cut them too hard, it, you'll lose flowers for a year. And I love the flowers more than I love a tidy garden. So they're kind of a bit huge. So anyway, these are, these are my hydrangeas and I love them. And I'm gonna show you how to, where on the plant you take the cutting in the first place. And then tomorrow, if you join my live in my Facebook group, you'll see what you do with it afterwards. So the first things first is where you want to, do, where you want to take the cutting. You're trying to find a piece of the, uh, a new shoot on the plant or a new stem on the plant that um, doesn't have a flower on it because you don't want to lose a flower. If you, if you really can't find one, you can take one with flower, but you're, ideally you want one that doesn't have flower. So um, on any of these branches, you can see, I'll try, I actually found a good one down here. Oh my gosh, I think I'm losing track of it again. Hold on till I see. Okay, oh, here's one that's really good. Okay, so if you can see here, sorry, now I know my camera work is slightly dodgy. There's green stems here. These are the new growth. So this, these are stems that have grown since this year, um, like maybe since March. And it's been growing little by little by little. And if you look here, it's coming off a brown stem. So the brown stem is last year's growth. And this year's one will eventually go like this as well. But these are hardwood and it's hard if you feel it. And these are softwood and they're soft if you feel it. And I know that sounds a bit obvious now, but I didn't know this for ages, but that's what they are. So at this time of year, the cuttings are taken from the softwood, which means basically you're looking to cut off a stem, not a huge big long one, because you only need um, four or six inches, so like 10 centimeters of a stem. You're looking for a stem on, of greenwood, softwood, and you cut it off just below a leaf node. Now, a leaf node is just the place where a leaf joins the stem. Didn't know that either till I eventually learned it. So, um, yeah, you're cutting just, wait now till I see, on any of these, just below here on the green wood. That's what you're looking for. And then tomorrow, if you join me on the Facebook group, I'll show you exactly what you do once you make that cutting. So don't do it today. Or actually, you could do it today if you like. If you're out and about and you see one that you want to take a cutting on, uh, take it today and put it in a jar of water because another very kind friend of mine suggested that that's the best way to do it. I haven't done it that way before, so I probably, uh, for the sake of the live, won't do it, but I'm going to experiment with it another day. Um, so just to recap what you need to do, you need to go out to your hydrangea bush, you need to find a green piece of stem on it, you need to cut it just, bef uh, just below um, a leaf node, so you're taking these two leaves with you, um, so that's just below where the leaves join the stem, and you're trying to do it on a hydrangea stem that doesn't have a flower bud on it. Now, a flower bud, just in case, that's a flower bud there, the little balls. They will eventually turn into something a bit more 
like that but for now they're just the tiny balls so you're trying to find one that doesn't have it so for example here's one here that doesn't have it on my plant um, it might eventually turn into a flower bud but it's not there right now so if i was going to do it i'd do it on this one and i'd go down below a leaf, a leaf node remember um if you can always try and take it at least six inches long um, when you're taking it because you can always trim it but you can't make it any longer so um, so try and take your stem about six inches long just below the leaf node on the green wood and I'll see you tomorrow and we'll show you what to do with it okay take care bye bye